let's talk about this situation in 2020, the the terms, you know, let's, let's correlate you being an artist and, and mm-hmm. you know, me being a nigga that do interviews on niggas, bro. Right. And, and, and things of that nature. Um, you know, dry snitching, snitching, and self-incrimination, and everything on that go on with entertainment, bro. Because it, it's a fine line, and it, it's things that niggas shouldn't speak on, and then niggas can still speak on, but it be crazy sometimes. And then, like, a nigga like me can't get blamed from the, from the consumer. Yeah. And the followers or this or that, but like okay, say if I do a commentary video, okay, like I'm talking about the beef that niggas have, and they already put their shit on the internet, mm-hmm. like oh fuck you this and this and that, and fuck you this and this and that, yeah, and I cover it. Am I responsible for what happens if I just if I'm only speaking on what they placed on the internet, right? Information that's already out. How, how you feel? You, nah, that's not snitching. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody know what's going on already. I mean, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, who's, so like, I, I be putting that out like, yeah, and, and I put that out there to the niggas like. They be trying to get on your ass, huh? Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. I just did one with the uh, TJ and A Boogie with the hoodie shit, and I don't know what's going on in New York. I'm not out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm only speaking on, I, I spoke on what they had. Hey, they going at each other, mm-hmm. and I put on what they put on the internet, and what was on the internet in the past. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm always coming to the common ground, of, bro. Let's get this money. For but sure. I do understand that lines get crossed, like you know what I'm saying. And this ain't just them; it's just different shit. Where like, hey man, if you say certain shit about a nigga, it's gonna be hard to squash that. Shit, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard for niggas to come back. And, and so I be looking at it like sometimes niggas get in there feeling like, well, you spoke on this and spoke on that, but it's like, nigga, you put it out there to the world. Right. And I'm telling nigga every day, nigga, fuck the bullshit, get the bread. Now, if a nigga blatantly wrong, I'm gonna say, bro, you, that blatantly disrespectful. Yeah. But I know we in a new day and time, bro, where like niggas don't give a fuck. Like, man. Man, <laughs> bro, you know what I say about, about a lot now, bro? Like, niggas don't apologize no more, bro. Yeah, nah. Hell you don't nah. see people apologize when they wrong no more. Like, that shit is a lost motherfucking topic. Nah, they think you weak as fuck. They think you weak for being admitting that you was wrong and, and just coming out. They make you look like a lame. Niggas rather just keep the beef going. Yeah. That shit is insane to me. Like, or keep the problems brewing. Niggas rather keep problems brewing and keep beef going rather than just saying, bro, you know what? I was wrong. Yeah. I got respect for a nigga that's man enough to admit they was wrong, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That shit's sad to Grown me, dog. Grown man shit. Grown man shit. But, like, even with the self snitching shit, bro, like. Man, to me, to, to me, to me, I, I, it. I understand the entertainment that come with it. Yeah. Like, you know, rapping. Like, you rapping about crimes you committed in the past. Even for niggas who kind of rapping and, and trap rapping at the same time, but rapping and hustling. I don't even knock that. My thing right. is. The niggas who actually show the world not money. I'm talking about niggas who gonna post pounds. <laughs> oh shit. Like that I'm shit actually did. gonna post pounds on the internet. Like, hey, I got pounds and I have no legal way of why I have this. Yeah. I'm talking about like Texas niggas, cause California, mm. all, all of the legal weed states, I can see because at the end of the day, I could be a legal weed dealer. Or marijuana dealer, even if I don't have a license, even if I look like a hood nigga, yeah. my defense is, hey, I'm in the marijuana business, and you know I just didn't have my license. It's ways around right, it, right? But in Texas, man, if you showing ten pounds of weed, you you a drug dealer in Texas. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So it's like you you telling on yourself, man. And I don't really understand that shit, bro. Like, man, I see that so with yeah. so many artists right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. The money, the money, cool, bro. You can say the money props. Yeah. In certain cases, you can say the weed props, but it's like, uh. Man, these rappers be telling on themselves, bro. Yeah. You see what happened to some of them. They feds on their ass. You know, you know and it be so, so crazy because, like, the feds be trying to really just hang rappers. Yeah, they they The get, feds and the police to where, nigga, you might only be a $5,000 nigga, bro. I just seen it with niggas who don't even really have money. Yeah. And the police will kick they spot in like they booming like this fucking 1995 in Harlem or some <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. nigga, like, bro, these niggas, when they ain't getting no money like that, these niggas ain't got no whips like that. 
They ain't got no jewelry. Yeah. They ain't got no money. None of that shit. But it's like they be having so much shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can make a nigga go fed. That shit be crazy, bro. You know. I, I I don't really like to kick niggas while they down myself, bro. I just don't be understanding it. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? I see that you stay away from a lot of that bullshit with niggas Bro. read paperwork and all this Yeah, shit. yeah, I try my best to stay away from that. Niggas that's, I don't like that shit neither. Especially yeah. like, you don't know how to interpret this shit. You know what I'm and, saying? And related to the people, like anybody can read the shit from the paper. Yeah. Anybody can expose the situation of paperwork being found. But if you ain't gonna really come with a collective message behind it, you know what I'm saying? I don't be agreeing with that. And yeah. I feel like if you not living by that code yourself, right. I feel like that's taking it past journalism, bro. Mm -hmm. That's my person. You reporting on the news, but see, you're really reporting on the news to a demographic of directly, I want to attack the hood eyes. Yeah. Because white people and suburb people don't give a fuck about it for niggas snitch. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They so sure don't. Hip hop fans do, don't get me wrong. You got right. suburb. And white kids and, and suburban kids who want to see which street rapper told. But it's like, <laughs> why do niggas be so invested who, who cover that type of shit? Like, I do. why do niggas be so invested in exposing that shit? I don't be getting it. Man. It's like, niggas be selling their soul to get clicks, bro. Like, I don't, I could have covered so much shit, bro. Like, I could expose so much shit. I could break so much shit. Yeah. Like, I tell niggas, bro, I don't break news. Right. I don't break news. I cover the news that's already been put, what the artists put out to the Instagram, mm -hmm. or the YouTubes, or the videos, or content that go already gonna get covered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I come and give my opinion on shit that's already out there. I'm not finna go to a nigga trap highs and recover, and, and oh man, they got a fight over there. This nigga beat this rapper up behind the scenes. Like, <laughs> the fuck nigga? Like, nah, man. Like. I don't be with that shit, bro. Like it, it just ain't ain't solid like that, bro. And I and I feel like every nigga that got a problem with me, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's more so just an insecure or they didn't get something they way. Yeah. Or their career ain't moving how they want it to move. You know, everybody feel like they important shit. I'm even a nigga, I be feeling like certain niggas should work with me. But at the same time, I put the work in, dog. Like yeah. I be outside, nigga, and niggas know this. Like, so now at this point. I'm just like, I can't force no nigga to fuck with me. And if yeah. I got to force you to fuck with me, I don't want to fuck with you no ways. Yeah. That's just what I be on. So like, man, we just got this dry snitching, self snitching epidemic, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, niggas calling niggas rats without even the paperwork. Yeah. Know? It's all over the place. I was man. telling my homegirl that shit too, bro. Like, cause she was telling me one nigga was gay. And I was like, look, man, I don't know that nigga personally. Yeah. You can't call a man gay with no proof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't got proof, I don't care if he's feminine. You can say a nigga feminine or he kind of funny moving like that. Yeah. Because a nigga, I don't judge gay people, bro. Like, if you yeah, gay, yeah. you gay. Do you. I'm not, yeah. I, I don't agree with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's me. You know, they try to throw these terms of homophobia on a nigga because you don't agree with people being <laughs> gay, but yeah. homophobia, phobia means like I see you and I'm scared and I cringe. Yeah. That doesn't happen when I see gay people. Yeah. I don't cringe like, oh my God, I'm scared. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what phobia is. Yeah. The power of that word, they're taking the power of the word phobia and using it to dramaticize, you know, people who aren't gay. Yeah. But like even snitching or anything, bro, it's like you you can't just come out and then snitch, man. That nigga snitch and then niggas didn't tell on nobody. Right. They Ruin the nigga whole reputation with that. Yep. And that shit hard to come back from because once you throw that on a nigga, people gonna always want to believe it, even if they see that it's not right. true. Right. They still it's still that window, just like being accused of a rape. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be in that shit though, like Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. You don't want to be tied up in none of that shit. You got to defend that shit. You got either, to either way, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be some pressure. Either way, you're going to you gonna piss somebody some off. You're going to piss yeah, somebody off. Or you're going to have to deal with it and face You got to face that shit they did on. Yeah. I'm dead before dishonor, dog. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Nigga ain't doing no dishonorable shit, bro. Like, yeah, nah, nigga I mean, can't move like that. Yeah, you keep it solid, man. You got integrity. It, even That's with why this your shit, channel is growing. Yeah, even with this shit, like, bro, I keep this shit solid, bro. Like, yeah. as much as possible, bro. And niggas don't really realize that, nigga, 
I didn't gave niggas opportunities, and I'm not saying like I'm the gate gatekeeper or the holder. Yeah. But on my platform, I didn't gave niggas opportunities that they can't get nowhere else. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas is not gonna interview a lot of these people unless they paying. Yeah, definitely. Especially in Houston. Mm -hmm. Who else just moving around the city right now besides me <laughs> and Backstreets with Cole? Yeah. Just really rocking and interviewing random artists and consistently promoting these artists and pumping these artists. I'm subscribed to everybody YouTube channel. You know, that made me think of one of uh, yeah. that Street Flavor used to be like that. I am the Street Flavor. Yeah, nigga. yeah. I am Street yeah, Flavor. For that's 20, what it is. I'm Street Flavor for 2020, nigga. Yeah. Facts, nigga. Yeah. I think they still moving around too. Yeah, yeah. Be solo. Yeah, I think they still moving around. I, I am Street Flavor for 2020, nigga. Nobody else doing this shit. Yeah. Like I said, you only, like the new version of this. Only shit. me and Backstreets with Cole are consistently outside. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I mean, that's the that's the homie. But we the only two who really outside, really pumping shit, bro. Like. Yeah. None of these other bloggers are out here, nigga. They not, they not out here in the streets, nigga. Uh -uh. Like this, not like on my level. Nah. Not saying that doesn't mean that they not doing their thing. Right. But to give everybody opportunity, I did it for two years, bro. Like, yeah. two years straight, niggas had opportunities to fuck with me. And, you know, I got to charge some people, bro, to keep the shit going. Like, yeah. but niggas want everything for free. Everybody think this shit supposed to be free. And they, and they know that they need to pay. Yeah. But they gonna block that out and try to see if they can get it for free. Yeah. So it's kind of like niggas gotta yeah. understand, bro. They done seen you go up and now it's like, nigga, y'all. Even when a nigga wasn't it. going up, it was like people, I wasn't moving on people like time skills or how fast they wanted me to move and this and this and that. Yeah. And people ain't taking in consideration that I got a life too. Mm -hmm. I got bills too. I'm going through the same thing y'all going through as rappers. Right. I'm going through the same exact shit. So it's like, Niggas be, man, we ain't hey, making you pull up here, pull up there, or trying to tell me to do shit. Or yeah. I can see niggas doing everything in their power to like get me to fuck with them. And I'm like, yeah. nah, dog. Like, <laughs> if you want to show love, that's cool. I'm always down for niggas showing love, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that. But a lot of niggas is hitting me. And, yeah. Man, you got, you got no post on your Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Then I look, the pussy ass rappers. This in the city, and I, I'm not gonna expose no nigga name. They ain't did nothing that spoke out on me. So, but I, I've encountered a lot of pussy ass niggas in this shit. Mm -hmm. Weak niggas, hoe niggas, bitch niggas, and I ain't gonna expose it. But it's like with them niggas, bro, it be so crazy because you'll see these niggas pulling dick. Mm -hmm. It's like all these pussy niggas need to be put in a pack <laughs> and hang, and y'all just do business yeah. together. Let's keep y'all separate, y'all. All you fuck niggas, hoe niggas who play a hate, uh, dirty match, cock block, okay. dry snitch, straight uh, cap, cap, line, pump faking, cap no money like having. All them niggas need to be put in a circle and y'all make y'all shit work and bring the niggas who really about growth and making moves and, and trying to get somewhere or who, who ain't on some judgmental shit because it be crazy, bro. Like, nigga, I done tapped in with Hazy, nigga. Like, I went up to Mizey, nigga. That's one of my favorite <coughs> rappers, man. Anybody seen my top three? Yeah. Last year, Money Man, Nipsey, and Mizey. Yeah, I and, fuck and, with Mizey. I just started listening to this shit. Yeah, and, and, and like, I went up to the nigga and I was just like, man, I fuck <coughs> with your shit, bro. I like, man, you be really sliding. He was like, you fucking with me? <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm on your shit, yeah, nigga. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, man, I appreciate that. My brother, like, da da da. Then I said, man, I spit. I just said, fuck it, nigga. I spit some shit to the nigga, let him know. I spit that motherfucking um uh which one was it? I, I forgot which one I spit to that nigga, bro. But I spit I spit one to him, bro. And, and the nigga was like, oh okay, okay yeah. Nigga got mad at his cameraman because he didn't have the camera rolling when I was spitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was a like, moment. And he was like, damn, nigga, how you missed this, bro? Like, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, that would have been good shit. Yeah, and and I was like, and then that nigga, you know, gave me the drop right there, man. I want to shout your shit out, bro. And I was like, you know, I know he do that for a lot of his supporters and fans, but for the nigga you listen to to do that shit for you, mm -hmm. he see you trying to do something that's live. So I'll never be able to understand how I can tap in with a Mozzie, tap in with a Gilly the Kid. Got an interview from Gilly the Kid. Yeah, Gilly. Um, I'll never be able to understand how I can tap in with Mozzie, Gilly the Kid, 
even Money Man and followed my Instagram page with a hundred followers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just different types of real organic, real niggas showing love because yeah. they see a nigga working and trying. Right. And, and tap in with Wallow. You know what I'm saying? I chopped it up with High High Davis. All these niggas who in the yeah. game. Yeah. Okay. All these niggas, bro, at Trader and shit. All them niggas then. Other niggas I reached out to who just like, what's up? Right Even like, uh, you know, I'll say Wallow. Wallow. Oh, okay. too, Wallow. That's okay. a Gilly the Kid cousin. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, he do interviews too. He do all type of content. They got a podcast. But like me tapping in with these niggas and seeing, you know, that, man, you get around certain niggas, they humble as fuck, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Real niggas. Um, even me rocking with Lil Flip, getting a Lil Flip interview. Yeah. You know, nigga been around Sauce and TSF and shit. Me yeah. and Rizzo been had an interview. Me and Walt, me and Sauce had the blog when I first got kicked, when I first got started. Mm -hmm. That we did at the studio, 281 Studios and shit. We, we man, we, we didn't work, so it's like, damn, I just did an interview with that nigga. Mm -hmm. He, Rolls Royce outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybach on Swing, cause outside. Big boy. It's cause all types of whips and cars this nigga got. Yeah. The biggest, the top, a top three artists in Houston. Mm-hmm. Really in Texas, as far as just on the street level. Yeah, yeah. When it with comes the rap to the streets. Shit. Huh? With the rap shit? Yeah, with the rap shit, yeah. yeah. Street level rap shit. It's yeah. also top three. You know what I'm saying? In Big Texas. Ben had that. Ben had that. So it's like, damn, this nigga he'll fuck with me. But I got a nigga over here with 2,500. Goddamn followers think he can try to handle me like I'm a little nigga. <laughs> fuck the camera. Fuck the YouTube <laughs> shit. Fuck the interview. <laughs> even if I wasn't doing this, you wouldn't be able to handle me like a little nigga. Yeah. It'll be even worse. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be worse for you. Like, way worse for you, bro. Like, ain't no little nigga shit going on, but I, I hate that part of the game that the bloggers and the the people, they just don't get the respect because mm -hmm. they don't stand on what they be doing. I hate that shit. Yeah, they be doing weak shit too. They do weak shit and then they don't stand on If you do something and you stand on it and you approach the game with morals mm -hmm. and values, you gonna make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. Yeah. You might've went too hard on this. You might've went too left on this. Right. And it's okay to be wrong too, bro. They won't ever say they wrong. Never say they wrong, bro. Stand on some shit, nigga, and say you wrong, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna instigate beef, you gotta stand on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't try to run from shit. You can't try to hide from shit. You know what it is before you do it. Everybody here grown, man. Yeah. Ain't no excuses when you grown and you doing shit like that, but.